So in this video, um, it's kind of a recap of the previous um, three videos. Um, we are just going to choose the best method to solve the linear system. We're going to look at different equations and when to use one versus the other. And then you might have some situations that you could use all three or just two of them. So your objective is that you can identify whether to solve the system by graphing, elimination, or substitution are three methods. And then you can solve any system of linear equations that I give you using one of the three methods. So the method that's solving. Um, questions you need to ask yourself. Is the form, is it in the form of y equals mx plus b? Are both equations y equal mx plus b? If you have that, then you can use graphing. You don't have to rearrange the equation to graph. You can just go right into graphing. Keep in mind graphing, um, the reason why we learned substitution was because graphing didn't always work. We're not guaranteed to get a nice um, point as our answer. On the bottom one, do the variables line up? Well, that was the one we learned in the previous video. If the variables line up, you can use elimination. Or that would be a very safe bet to use. And then, is there um, an isolated variable? Well, if you have a variable isolated, remember like y equals or x equals, I'm going to use substitution. So this kind of gives you an idea of when to use one versus the other. And we're going to do three examples, and we're going to use each one um, in either example. All right. So when is the best method to solve using this one? Well, notice I have a variable isolated, y equals x plus 5. So I'm going to use my substitution method. So reviewing that method y equals x plus 5, so I'm going to replace the y in the second equation. So now I have x plus, instead of y, we have x plus 5 equals 1. Well, x plus x is 2x, solving, plus 5 equals 1. I'm doing my inverse operations to solve. I have 2x equals negative 4, divide by 2, x equals negative 2. And then we're going to substitute negative 2 in for one of the x's. I am going to do the top one. So that gives me the answer pretty fast. So I have y equals x, or negative 2 plus 5, so y equals 3. So my solution to this is negative 2, 3. So again, you can always check to see if you have the right answer. Um, if y is 3, negative 2 plus 5 is, comes out to be true. And then negative 2 plus 3, just plugging in for x and y, equals 1. So I know this is the correct answer. So in b, notice the variables line up very nicely. The x's, the y's, and then the numbers, and so do the equal sign. So I'm going to use elimination method we did in the previous video. So elimination, I need my variables opposite. I'm going to get rid of my y's. I have a 2y, so the bottom I need a negative 2y, so I'm going to multiply um, all the terms in this equation by negative 2. So I have the top one, I'm just going to rewrite it over here. And then my bottom equation becomes 6x minus 2y equals 4. So negative 5 plus 6x is x. These make 0. And then I get 18. So x equals 18. So now I'm going to substitute x back in into an, one of these two equations. Or I could do this one right here. The 6x minus 2y equals 4. It's equivalent to the negative 3x plus y equals 2. I am going to do the bottom one. Me, it looks easy. Plus y equals negative 2. Negative 3y, or negative 3 times 18, is negative 54. Plus y equals negative 2. I'm going to add my 54. y equals. 52. And again, I can plug the y and the x into the first equation to come out to check to see it is true. What's nice about these is you can check your answers. That happens a lot in this unit that so you're able to figure out if you have the correct answer. So my final answer is 1852. That is where these two lines would intersect. 
So the last method is very unique. Um, notice it is set up for graphing, so you can graph. Um, however, I'm not guaranteed to get the right answer, so again, I'm not going to use graphing. Uh, the other two methods could work too. The variables line up, so I could use elimination, or I could use substitution since I have y equals and y equals. I'm going to do substitution um, on this one, so y equals 2x minus 7. So I'm going to replace the y in the second equation. So I get negative 2x plus 7 equals 4x minus 5. Again, you can use elimination, which you can, and go ahead and pause the video right now and use elimination and then see if you got the same answer, which you should if you did it correctly. I'm just going to move my term over. So I have 7 equals 6x minus 5. I'm going to move my 5 by using inverse operations. I have 12 equals 6x divided by 6. x equals 2. So my x coordinate is 2, so I'm going to plug it into one of the two. I'm just going to do the bottom run real quick. So I have 4 times 2 minus 5, which gives me 8 minus 5. So y equals 3. So my solution where these two lines would intersect is 2, 3. And again, I can check on the top one, negative 2 times 2, because that's my x coordinate, is negative 4 plus 7 is 3. So this is my correct answer. And that is it for this video. Um, again, you have three methods for solving um, a system. This was just a video, review video. So when you would graph, you want y equals mx plus b. Substitution, you want a variable isolated. And elimination, the equations to line up. And again, you can have situations like the last one where you can use all three methods. So it's kind of to your choosing. Um, just remember, be very cautious of graphing because you're not guaranteed to get a right answer. If you would get like one half as your x, it will not show up as graphing very well. So you might have to resort to one of the other two. Right, so just one last reminder to do your reflection so you have credit for watching this video.